what's up my totally offensive army and random youtubers alike finally back to do another reaction video now my ass has been in bed for like three and a half days with a fucking sinus infection i had various bodily fluids projecting from my body in various forms and it's fucking weird and i didn't like it and it was uncomfortable and then i had to go back to work and get my money game straight because when you get sick you end up going broke because that's what happens can't be living that life anyway the meyer freakout lady is back Someone, as it turns out, had a different camera angle on this bitch and was filming her while she was chasing people around the back of the store, and it's fucking epic, and I can't wait to get into it with you. And also, I've been bookmarking some shit I've seen on YouTube and on Facebook and whatnot, and uh, there's definitely some more reaction videos coming up, so stick around. Let's get into this. I'm excited as fuck. <laughs> He's trying to, but she's harassing him. Look, I, I, it's, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I don't feel like this bitch should be the type of person to be giving marriage advice. Like, I don't think you can be a, mount, a marriage counselor in the middle of the frozen food section. I mean, yeah, she's got like a raging coke addiction, and uh, she's definitely a fucking lunatic. However, the reason I like this bitch so much is because she's the type of person we all wish we could be if we gave up on life and just didn't pay our bills and do the right thing and be responsible. Like, there's a part of me, I'm not going to lie, that's a little fucking jealous the way this woman's allowed to live her life. The guy murders himself. He gets up and he's too fucking murdered. What does she get out of this? Poor dude. He just wants some milk and he's Muslim. That's the worst. At this point, I'm kind of thinking she's trying to argue gender equality in the Muslim culture, which doesn't really exist so much in the culture. I mean, they value women, but at the same time, in certain third world countries, they got to walk 12 steps behind their men. And uh, polyamory is a big thing. I don't, I don't think this is the type of place this lady should be given this type of le lecture and like marital counseling. That's just where I'm at with that. This poor guy just wants a gallon of fucking milk. Bitch, you know you didn't read no Quran. You be quiet. She follows the whole store now. She going. You get out of my fucking face. Get the fuck away from me. Stop harassing me. Get the fuck away from me. You're following me. I don't think she understands the rules of social etiquette. You cannot tell someone to get out of your face as you proceed to follow them and get in their face. That completely defeats the purpose of the original request. That's not how this works. Bro, she ain't drunk, she cocaine high. Yeah, what do you want? Or you know what date is? A month? She said, I know exactly who created you. This, what are you, the CIA of his mama's womb? <laughs> she said, I know exactly who created you. Uh-huh. I was conceived in Graceland because my parents broke down on the side of the road and it was raining and they didn't want to get out of the rain and check into a hotel. I'm only here because Elvis was here. That's the only reason I exist. Shit. Talk a bunch of nonsense. I know who created you. You dumb as hell, lady. I don't think this lady has to ever worry about being touched in a positive manner. 
Like, she, she really looks like she could definitely use a hug or 12, but finding people who would be willing to hug her seems like it's kind of going to be a challenge. That seems a bit, a bit complicated. You put your fucking hands on me, sir. I'm going to file a police report against you. You need a police report filed yeah. against you because you were just harassing that man because of his religion. Preach, millennial. Push me, motherfucker. He didn't do shit to you. Shut the fuck up, no. you fucking fat fucking pig. Like, you got room to talk. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, okay. You can't go to a grocery store while wearing a muumuu and then proceed to call the people around you fat. That's just not how that works. I mean, that kind of makes you the ultimate hypocrite at that point. That, that, no, no, that doesn't, that's not passable. You can't do that. It hurt my feelings. I'm going to file a fucking report. Because you fucking pushed me. You got my No, he didn't. I got you on camera. Hey, hey, look at this. And you fucking pushed me, motherfucker. Look at this right here. You've been recording the whole time. You You feel me? I like how the girl holding the camera is like, I can reason with this bitch. I can go ahead and promote logic and rational thinking in the middle of this grocery store while this woman is high on an abundance of cocaine. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll reason with her. That's the goddamn dumbest thing on the planet. Okay, give that a shot. This right here, you've been recording. Yeah, you've been recorded the whole time. And he, you can God, talk to you, lady. Let it, let it make it So try to make the boss report. report. So try to make the boss report. <laughs> how are you so religious? Can I ask you how are you so? You fucking touch me and you. Can we all just pray for her for a second? Because she needs Jesus. See, now at this point, I'm starting to get the impression as this video is about to end that like this girl is trying to like the girl filming is trying to be more of the center of attention than the Meyer freakout lady, and that's fucked up. Cause look here, bitch. Real talk. No one upstages the Meyer freakout lady. Okay. This bitch could have her own talk show, and I'd watch it like it was a religion. I'd be there, and she could have that shit on 11 a.m. every day. My ass would clock out for lunch at work 11 a.m. and just start watching that shit and eating a sandwich. Wouldn't give a fuck. I swear. People always need attention. Get here, motherfucking Carl! <laughs> motherfucking Carl! <laughs> hey, motherfucker! Oh, my Have another drink. Do another line. Yeah, there you go. You call it. Record it. Do you know what's going to happen to you, motherfucker, unless you repent and ask Jesus Christ to forgive you? Maybe you should ask Jesus Christ. You have any fucking idea what you do. Oh, my God. It's so bad. It's good. Woo! Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so if you guys just watched my Instagram story about that, my... And I if you guys just watched your Instagram story, yes, yes, I want to log on your Instagram and find out that you introduce yourself to people by saying, Hi, my name's Melanie and my gender pronouns are ze, ze, zim, the, and, and he, she, and it, and, and all those, and I'm a demisexual, asexual, pansexual, uh, who's a vegan architect who lives in Arkansas. No, I don't need any of that millennial garbage on my feed. You go ahead and you take that away. I don't want to watch your Instagram, but I am happy that you provide a video of the Meyer Freakout Lady. Now, go back to being irrelevant, but thank you for the video, the young millennial girl who tried to upstage the Meyer Freakout Lady. Look here, bitch. No one upstages the Meyer Freakout Lady, and that's just how that shit go. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Like I said, I got some more videos to put out while I was laid up in bed, sick with that sinus infection and getting caught up in my work. My ass didn't remember to uh, bookmark quite a few things. So, until next time.